in and I apologise. Well, we're back in the kitchen. It's good, isn't it? it? Oh, and you've got some party fur bits for Christmas. Yes. Where are we going to go? Look at this. This is gorgeous, isn't it? This oh. is the baked camembert star. And I promise you, it's a cinch to make. It looks quite impressive. And the great thing about it is that it's a sharing one. It's a tear and dipping one. And so you can make it up ahead and then just have, like, nuts or sticky... We're also going to do, sorry, I forgot to say, my sticky piggies, which are cool, which are basically... What do you call them? You call them pigs and blankets? Pigs and blankets. Pigs and blankets. We don't call them that in Ireland. What do you call them? Sausage wrapped in bacon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it how it is. OK, so first off, to make the star, puff pastry is your best friend over Christmas. So load up with puff pastry. And as I was saying earlier, the butter puff pastry is what you want because you get that shortness, the richness and all the flavour. Do you cook a lot with puff pastry? OK, let's carry on. <laughs> <laughs> roll out the puff pastry, right? You want two sheets of it because we're going to layer it up. So the first one you roll out, you want them to be square, right? Because we're actually making a square to make it into the star. And then on the first layer of it, you put rosemary sprinkled all over it like this. Or you could put thyme or you could put anything you want, actually. You could put a little bit of, um, um, what you might call it, um, onion confiture, like onion jam, or a little bit of Ooh, chutney, your nice. favourite yeah, chutney, yeah, yeah. but just a very, very thin bit. Love that. Just to get a little bit of flavour into it. And then just press it down a little bit. And then get your other square. Try to have them as chilled as possible so that they'll be lovely and short. The more chilled your pastry is, the more short it will be. And what I mean by short is, like, buttery. Buttery okay. and crispy. And then you pat the other one on top of it. So it's like a little sandwich, right, with the rosemary in the middle. And then you get your camembert. You get your camembert like that and you pop it in the centre of that right there. Now I'm going to show you how to make the little star things that come out of it. So it's a square. So what you do, you want about 16 of them or 18, whatever you get. It's about a two inches. So you, what you do is you scrape down, or you scrape down, you cut down from when they're... Oh, yeah, you can see it on the TV. Hi. <laughs> and then you, um, you do another one here, so two inches more. You go over like that. And then what you want to do is just do a little twist. And now you understand why I'm doing two layers. Yeah. Because yes. you're getting that kind of... So it looks a little bit like a croissant. Oh, a little bit like a it croissant. Tastes a bit like a croissant it's as well. It's yummy, isn't it? Lovely. So buttery. OK, so you keep doing that around until you have... 18 of them, and I magically just did this earlier on and then also egged washed them. So, OK, so you keep on doing it all the way around until you've got it to this stage. And then you egg wash them. I've got a few left to do. So you want to egg wash them again lightly, like I've said before, so you get that lovely golden crispness. But we don't want to over egg wash them, so a little bit of water. What happens if you over egg wash them? They don't rise and get puffy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're not going to get a puffiness. And then for the baked cheese, I love this part. So then you just crisscross it, so really big, deep incisions into it like that, and then just open it out a little bit like that, and then put a little bit of rosemary in it, a little bit of garlic if you want to, and a little bit of white wine. And... A little bit? <laughs> That's a tiny little bit. <laughs> That's a tiny bit. <laughs> Would like to be going to your house for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of wine. Oh. <laughs> I'm really kidding. And then that goes into a preheated play Uno oven. Drunk. That goes in for 25 minutes until it gets really crispy. And then all the cheese will get molten and everything. Mm. I'm going to show you how to make the sticky pickies. But I just want to show you what to do when you're there. So you get it like that. Pull it off, right? Tear it in, and then you just dunk it in here. And I always have a little spoon, you know, so people can kind of just yeah, like dip nice. and spoon it up like that. Lovely. After the show. Oh. Do you know what? Looking back, going back to the start, you could put whatever you wanted in those layers of puff pastry. Yeah, you, you yeah. could. Give as it a little long bit as of keep, a kick. Keep it light. Just right. don't, don't overdo it because you want the puff pastry to be able to rise. Okay. If it's too heavy, you'll get a very, you won't get that croissant feeling of it. Right. Isn't that gorgeous? And I think that mm. could also work really well as a starter for oh, good. Um, a starter for Christmas oh, no. Day. Yeah. Or when you've just got people around. It just looks fabulous. That would look fabulous in and the middle can... of your tablescape. Mm. And your tablescape. Yeah. And you could also um, pop loads of fresh rosemary all around it too and, and do it all up. It looks gorgeous. Now, the, these are my sticky piggies. I love sticky piggies. Everyone does. Love Unless you're vegetarian. Piggies. And then I've got my little cocktail sausages and I'm going to pop in here. And then you just get your honey or maple syrup if you want to make them extra sticky. Mm. And then you just wrap, you know, just toss them all in that, oh. like that. What, then you get your bacon. And then this is an important step here. You get your bacon rasher, smoked if you want it, or, yeah. 
and you just pop it out like that, mm -hmm. and then you get your honey, your honeyed piggies, mm -hmm. pop them at the top, then get a little leaf like that, right? Pop it on top of the sausage, and then roll it like that. And this you can do the night before. Pop them into the fridge, and then pop them all in. Let me just wash my hands. Pop them all into the oven for 30 minutes, and they're done. If you want to do a vegetarian version, which we've done for you, because I know you don't like pork. Gorgeous. What you do is you get a little fig, and we only came up with these this morning, a little fig, a little slice of halloumi on top of it, honey on, a little bit of rosemary into the oven, and they're like little, um, they end up being, well, they end up being like this. <laughs> like little, gorgeous little boots, really, aren't they? So the good. little boots. Yeah, and you just thought of that this morning? Just thought of that this morning. I was on my makeup, Never. and somebody said, Josie doesn't like pork, what are we going to do? I was like, why doesn't she like a sausage? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, and then the sticky little piggies. Aren't they good? They are. They are what? amazing. I've got to say, Claudia, they are probably the best pigs in blankets I've ever had. Yeah. What's your favourite song to dance to when you're having your Christmas party? What's going to well, be on your playlist? that's a good playlist? question. Oh, I don't... Uh, well, you've got to go Mr Brightside, The Killers. Oh. Destiny. Oh. That's a great tune, Josie? It's not a Christmas like tune, but... anything disco. Anything distant, Oh, yeah. good show. Yeah. And the fairy tale of New York. Nice. Very good. Yeah. Cute. Let's go. Let's go. Have we got it? Oh, yeah. away, bay, and, and the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day. Lovely. That's a classic, oh, isn't it? It reminds me of school for some reason. I don't know why. Does it? Yeah. Absolutely Anyway, Claudia, lovely. thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. That. Christmas. Thank you. Happy Christmas. Now, for all the details of today's recipes and more ideas from all of our This Morning Chefs, head over to our free This Morning app.